To create floodlight tags, we'll navigate to the advertiser level. We'll start in the Floodlight Configurations tab, where we'll enable dynamic tags, set the lookback window, and create custom variables. First, we'll enable dynamic tags. Next, we'll check the settings for the lookback window. We'll leave the lookback window set to 30 days for both impressions and clicks as our conversion point. Purchasing park tickets and arranging a vacation require planning and coordination, so the length of time between interest and purchase can be significant. Now we're ready to create custom variables. We'll enter the name of the data we're capturing in the Friendly Name field. In this example, we'll want to capture the promo code, zip code, quantity purchased, and package type. In order for Excel to recognize our data as numbers, we'll need to select Number from the Type drop-down. This will allow us to work Excel formulas in the spreadsheet. After entering our variables, we'll click Save. Now let's create a sales tag to be placed on the sales confirmation page to track completed sales. To make it easier to test the floodlight tag, we'll include thank you page in the URL that we enter here, so we can easily identify the tracked page. We'll assign this new floodlight tag to the online revenue activity group. Grouping our tags this way allows us to report on all of our online revenue in aggregate. Since we're going to count conversions based on the number of purchases, we'll select transactions as the counting method. Under Advanced Options, it's important that we select Secure Servers Only HTTPS so that the Secure Sales Confirmation page calls a secure double-click server. For custom variables, we'll select promo code, zip code, quantity, and package type. Our publisher is going to help us optimize the campaign and has sent over code for a retargeting pixel. We'll place this code in the default section to make sure that the retargeting pixel fires every time the floodlight tag fires. We can add any other pixels later. For now, we'll click Save. To send our floodlight tag, we'll click on the Export button and select Text or Excel. This will save the tag to the desktop. Once saved, we'll email the tags to our advertiser contact.